Welcome to this section where I would help you get started on becoming an enumerator of the AFJP. You need to have your Android phone ready and with an internet connection to ensure you can complete all the steps. Take your Android phone and open the Play Store. This is where you normally would download your apps from and search for ODK Collect as shown on the screen. Install the app and when you are done, open it. If you have successfully installed the app and allowed the permissions as shown in the previous screen, we will proceed to make a few configuration changes to ensure you can operate as an enumerator of AFJP. Click on the menu option. It is in the top right corner of your app screen. After this, go to the server section where we will connect you to the AFJP survey environment. If you have done this correctly, you should have a screen that looks like what I'm displaying now. Fill the information as shown on the screen, after which you should save or go back, depending on your device. Next, we will set up your navigation preferences. This is to ensure that you can move through the survey in a consistent and easy way. The instructions are shown on the screen right now. Please complete the steps and when you are done, we will proceed. Next, we will proceed to set up your user profile. You need to ensure that the information you enter here is correct as this will be attached to every survey you submit and if the information is wrong, you may not get paid for the surveys you complete. Follow the instructions on the screen to put your username, your phone number with which you registered with AFJP and your email address in the spaces provided. Next, we will make some changes to how your surveys and forms will be managed. This is to ensure that your data is submitted and you can also access them on your device and edit them. A number of instructions are displayed on the screen now. Please set the options exactly as shown on your screen to make sure that the data you submit is valid. It is particularly important that you set the image quality to what is displayed on the screen now to ensure that your files are not too large and you do not utilize excess data when uploading information. Next, we'll configure the preferences related to mapping. Please follow the instructions in the background. And when you are done, proceed to the next step. You have now completed the application configuration and you are ready to go to the next segment where you'll be shown how to complete a survey for AFJP. Thank you very much for your attention throughout this session. Please proceed to the next video.